For 120 years, the clock on top of the old post office has been a fixture in Carbonear. It stopped running in the 1980s, and lots of people have tried to fix it. I got it working for about 10 minutes or so, but I couldn't figure out some, some sort of stuff. So I went on YouTube and, and got stuff like that, and I just couldn't decide on, on how to get it going. Ludmila Pass and her husband spent 52 years fixing clocks in Ukraine. They arrived in Newfoundland in November to join their daughter and escape the war. They were worried about what they would do in Canada until they heard about the clock that needed fixing. They took away all the rust. Also, there was a problem because it's uh, very close to the ocean and lots of salt and dirt during many years became like a stones inside of the details. And so they cleaned it, they adjusted and it, it's, it's running, yeah. The town's deputy mayor says the clock's new lease on life has brought some excitement. I couldn't thank Julia and her parents enough for, uh, for what they've done for the town of Carbonair. And it fell right in around Christmas time. So I guess you might say it is a little bit of a Christmas miracle. Julia Veratenik says her parents' skills weren't valued in Ukraine. But here, people are making sure to say thank you. Finally, people really appreciate their talent and I'm really happy that in their life they are appreciated so much. So it's like a very wonderful feeling. She says her parents are getting lots of requests from people with long silent cuckoo clocks or grandfather clocks that no longer run. She says they're happy to help since Canada helped their family. Peter Cowan, CBC News, Carbonear, Newfoundland.